Hi there, everybody. It's meteorologist Terry Swales. It is Monday, and Thanksgiving is over with, and it's back to the grind this week. And you probably noticed that I uh, haven't used a razor here recently, uh, so I'm feeling extra tough today, but unfortunately, i got to go in there and take the shower and shave it all off and, you know, make myself pretty once again. So that'll be one of my objectives here today. The other thing is, of course, to talk about the weather that's going on around the country, and uh, things are in the process of changing right now. The overall flow in the atmosphere getting set to deliver a shot of cold air to the country. And that's already moving into the northern Rockies and the Pacific Northwest and out ahead of our Arctic front. A little moisture causing some clouds to form here in the Midwest. A lot of those around. But the temperatures so far pretty respectable. And we'll stay that way for a couple more days until the cold air starts to make its move on Wednesday. Now, as you can see on the radar, as a little warm air tries to fight its way into Iowa, that's generating a narrow band of rain and some light snow that's scattered about the central part of the state. And then as you get further north up into Minnesota, the precipitation increases and across North Dakota, northern Minnesota, into northwestern Wisconsin, snow is breaking out and will continue to come down in that portion of the upper Midwest over the next couple of days. Low pressure will be moving through southern Minnesota and up into central Wisconsin, and that's going to lay down some hefty snows across the upper Midwest. Could be quite a few locations oh, in uh, North Dakota and northern Minnesota that pick up 8 to as much as 14 inches of snow. So things are going to get pretty white up that way. Also, the radar you're looking at there is off the new site here. And if you're not aware of how to use this, I'm just going to throw a little couple of little tips out here. First of all, you can take your cursor anywhere on that radar and you plunk it down and you're going to get the current conditions and the current forecast for that location. That's any place in the Midwest just by touching your cursor. Also, there's a link on the side that says severe and if you push your cursor down and there's severe weather, it'll show up on the actual radar there and um, and there'll be the watches and warnings which you can now see up there in parts of northwestern Wisconsin up into North Dakota and South Dakota so anyway you're going to be able to have that to look at too and also the specifics of the actual watches or warnings will show in the red bar in the center of your screen so all you have to do is have that activated and you'll be able to see the severe weather that's forecast for any area that you touch on that screen so that is a nice feature 24 7 365 all right, moving on then. Let's get on back to November. It's behind us now, but it was a cold one, as you can see, across the United States. About the only area to escape that was the central Rockies and into the southwestern United States, where you're seeing the blue there is where temperature anomalies were at least one to maybe three degrees below normal. This is going to go down as the coldest November in the United States since way back in 1996. So that's been a long time coming. And unfortunately, it's going to be cold around here in the next couple of weeks, too. This is the 500 millibar chart, which is off the GFS here. That's our U.S. model. And look at the big trough that it's carving out over the middle of the country here later on this week. Much below normal heights, and that's the cold air that's diving in out of Alaska. In fact, if you look up in Alaska, you can see all those oranges and yellows there. That's positive height anomalies, big ridge of high pressure up that way, and the jet stream is being diverted around that and into the western U.S. and then right down into Texas, and that's what's going to allow this hefty shot of Arctic air to move into the Midwest later on this week. So as we take a look at the temperature anomalies, this is how much below normal it's expected to be on December 5th, and just look at all those purples up there to the north of Iowa, across the upper Midwest, the northern Plains states, the northern Rockies, some spots still looking at temperatures 48 degrees below normal. That is just downright wicked off the charts. And we'll take this on out here to the 11th through the 18th. So this is a period of about seven days here. And you can see as we move on into December how there's still a lot of below normal temperatures all across the middle of the country and actually out through much of the western United States too. So plan on experiencing some pretty cold temperatures once this front drops into the Midwest on Wednesday and pushes its cold air onto the southeast. Now, how about snowfall? That's one thing that we see a lot of up to the north. We talked about that first wave of energy. Then as the front goes on by, 
some overrunning precipitation develops, and the models have gotten onto this trend here the last two days, and they streak some snow out through Oklahoma, Arkansas, up into Missouri and southern Illinois, and finally the Ohio Valley. But it looks like that's going to remain pretty far to the south. So once the cold air makes its push, it's actually going to dry out across the upper Midwest, and the primary feature of the weather for the next few days then, once the Arctic air arrives, will be the cold temperatures, not a great deal of snow, just almost too cold to snow as the main storm track has pushed to the south. If you want some good news today, uh, here's the December 18th 500 millibar chart off the GFS, and it's showing a zonal flow returning to the country here, and the heights are actually rising, which would mean warmer temperatures, so I do think that we're going to experience a little bit of a warm-up here as we get towards the 18th, maybe 19th of December. But I honestly don't think it's going to last very long. It looks to me like the Arctic air is reloading. We've still got the ridge that's up in the northwestern parts of the Gulf of Alaska, and I think the cold air should have no trouble coming back to the south. So maybe a little warm-up, but uh, temporary is the way I see it. But um, I guess now it's just kind of wait and uh, wonder what this cold air is going to be like as it comes into the Midwest. It'll arrive um, about Wednesday in Iowa and Illinois and then drive its way on to the southeast and look for temperatures to be well below normal here as the weekend arrives. And outside of a few snow flurries, looks like most of the snow stays up to the north in Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, the UP of Michigan, or way down to the south in Missouri and Southern Illinois. And that's your weather update for today. And as always, roll weather. Now where's that razor at?